Hey there! Today I'm going to be talking about something a bit different. I'm going to be talking about pretty cool technology that I use to show off NFTs in my entryway. Let's get into it! So I was just in the process of fixing up my Pi that I have in my entryway because the files get corrupted because I turn it off without gracefully shutting it down all the time. So I'm surprised it's lasted this long. And I just wanted to walk through the process. It took me a little longer than I expected, so I thought it'd be something I wanted to share. I have a Raspberry Pi Zero downstairs, connected to the monitor, getting power from the monitor, and feeding its output to the monitor. What I have here is a Pi 3B with a PoE hat, which is rather irrelevant to this video. But what I got going is, uh, I used to use something called OpenFrame, rip openframe.io. The server seems to be dead. So I switched to something called Screenly a year or two ago, and that's what's dead. So I tried to resurrect Screenly, and I happily figured out that Screenly has broken out their paid service from the open source part, which they are now calling Antheus. So I just downloaded Antheus and have that running on this Raspberry Pi here. So this Raspberry Pi I just downloaded Antheus through the Raspberry Pi Imager. It was super duper easy. Took maybe 10 minutes to get it up and running. And then the only thing I didn't like is when you first install it, it'll just sit there and look like it's hung up for a little while. That That's while it's updating. I actually had to look at my Unify network controller to see if the thing was, you know, pulling down any data. You can see this uh, pink cord running across to my switch on the desk. So you can't really win them all. This isn't the cleanest setup, but you can get across exactly what I've done here. So the HDMI, and this emulates what's going on downstairs in my entryway. All right, so this is what my Antheus looks like now. All I've done is add some inactive assets, and I took the settings back to what it looks like from default, so you can kind of track along if you want to. So all I did was get rid of the splash screen, make it boot a bit faster, turn on a shuffle playlist, and I changed this to entry. So that was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. This thing is going to be off network. I'm going to turn off its Wi-Fi once it's in place. So it's not the addressing and all that stuff doesn't really matter to me. So like authentication, not really big on my priority list. I'm going to go back to the schedule overview. And you can see here how quickly this turns back on. So you just got to turn one of these on. And yep, there it is. It pop, it's already popped through. You can go in here. Play for manual. I'm just going to turn these on to play forever because I just want this screen to, whenever I have power to the screen, I want it to just be looping through these four videos. That's my intention with the screen. So I'm just going to go through and do that. Okay, last one. All right. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good image of this SD card. So when it inevitably gets corrupted in a few months or years, I can just roll it back and have this exact thing ready to go again. So now I'll take you to what my setup looks like downstairs in the entryway. Hint, it's very similar to what this looks like. All right, so here's the setup. I got the Raspberry Pi getting power over USB. And while it takes a little while in between these videos to load the next one, I really like this setup. We'll see you at the next video.